Hello, CNRA employees. As part of the strategy development for what eventually became the Thrive at Resources strategy for new ways of working and the transformation of the new CNRA headquarters in Sacramento, a series of external and industry workplace experience trends were shared with Secretary Crowfoot and the extended members of the CNRA leadership team. This was done through a variety of different presentations and reports conducted during focus group sessions and meetings with leadership in the late fall of 2020. And as we get closer to the move-in process for the new CNRA headquarters, with more and more employees engaging with the topic of new ways of working and new ways of thinking about the workplace itself, we thought it might be interesting to share some of those materials with the wider CNRA employee base so that you have the opportunity to engage with it in the same way that your leadership did. All of these materials, we'll stress, uh, have nothing to do officially with California state agency projects or real estate. We are sharing them for inspirational and information purposes only in the hopes that it facilitates uh, further discussion and excitement about your move into the new building. Again, even though these trends are uh, generic to the workplace industry and not specific to California state government, much less CNRA. If you do have any more questions about the Thrive program, uh, please visit their website at thrive.cnra.ca.gov uh, or email the thrive at resources.ca.gov email address. This particular presentation is called Affici Justification for Why Experience Matters in the Workplace. It was developed well before the COVID pandemic, but we brought it back because we thought it might be uh, humorous and endearing to, at the very least, your colleagues in the Fish and Wildlife Department of the agency. <clears throat> so here we go. This is a metaphor for the traditional corporate uh, or government office. Um, you'll see that it is filled with all of the same fish, um, relatively easy fish to get. Uh, they don't need much. They're just pretty much happy to be there. Uh, there's not a lot of choice for them in this tank. Uh, it's a pretty contained system and a pretty simple system altogether. Um, one might imagine if these were uh, little employees that their engagement level would be relatively low. And unfortunately, those people uh, who were responsible for putting the tank together have never really been able to do anything about that. But then what's happened over the last couple of years is that companies are finding that they need better fish. They're harder to find, they're harder to keep happy. Uh, they often move easily between different environments. Um, they don't feel tied to the proverbial fish tank in the way that the old fish might have. Um, in particular, when we are talking about younger employees, millennials and Generation Z, uh, these new fish want to align with a greater purpose or vision. They want flexibility. Uh, many of them may not even stay that long at their first job, um, but this is quickly becoming the largest generation in the workplace. So caring and feeding for these much newer and important fish is very important. The other problem uh, that people uh, responsible for building fish tanks, so to speak, uh, is that you have companies like Google and every other technology company, especially in the California area, that is gobbling up all of the special new fish. Um, it, we cannot take for granted that everybody wants to seek employment in maybe even traditional industries, uh, but they have become incredibly popular and are very good at competing for the top talent with every other company or agency in every other industry. Another problem is that we have discovered, especially through COVID, uh, that the fish in the ocean can swim anywhere they want. Maybe they migrate a lot. They hop from reef to reef as they see fit. Uh, they're not locked into the fish tank in the way that they once were with newfound freedom and, and realization that work can be done from anywhere. Um, separate and aside from trends around remote work, we are still seeing a massive shift in across the industry towards the so-called uh, gig economy. More and more people acting as consultants or contractors or freelancers and working for multiple employers at the same time. Uh, which again makes it even more difficult to uh, to capture and engage the fish that you want working for your company. And again, while this was happening before the COVID pandemic, it has certainly accelerated because of the experience we have all been through. Um, people like having choice and autonomy uh, to work remotely or in the office. Um, as you see here, while most of the school of fish may be anxious to return and to work together, uh, in the physical spaces that we've been in previously, there's always going to be some percentage 
uh, that want to swim freely or swim away from the group or have a choice about where they'd like to be swimming today. Um, for years, uh, major research, industry, uh, <clears throat> research sources have said that the most engaged employees are the ones who have some remote and flexibility around the edges, not full-time in the office or out of the office. And the experience of the COVID pandemic has certainly accelerated that trend. So the strategy that employers have taken historically in order to attract the new and more exciting fish is to build really nice workplaces for them to come to, uh, build a better tank, a more attractive tank, hoping that the space draws them uh, nearer and makes them want to stay and work and be productive and engaged. Um, this is actually really hard for a lot of different companies and agencies uh, working against different uh, objectives to stitch together the kind of experience that is required for making an engaging office. Um, but unfortunately, as we have learned through studies over time and uh, CNRA has even learned about itself, uh, many traditional offices are often more empty than we think. Even though people are supposedly there every day, uh, a great deal of that space is left underutilized, which leaves uh, opportunity for exploring new types of sort of density and sharing programs as CNRA is for its new headquarters. And the reason that we want everybody to come in to feel engaged to work together is because collaborating helps us solve problems or innovate faster. And through this time, the pace of change continues to get faster. Uh, some people say it is as you know, fast as it's ever been, but as slow as it is ever going to be from here on out. Um, collaborating with our peers isn't just enough anymore. We have to increase uh, pressure to be efficient and uh, drive connections and serendipity across groups who may not have spoken to each other in the past in order to come up with new ideas and solve bigger and bigger problems. So the kind of environment that we need to provide is one where there is uh, autonomy for employees to be where they want, but it's somewhere that they want to be uh, with choice and engagement um, for new ideas in and out. This picture here is sort of meant to uh, to represent you know, a beautiful cove where you might imagine that there's a little tiki bar around the corner. It's a great place to go on vacation to hang out, but it is open to the ocean. If you are uh, expressing this to employees, they would feel good to be there, uh, supported by the environment and culture, but they know that they have the flexibility to come and go as they please, which is ultimately incredibly engaging. And finally, what everybody wants to be is the employer of choice with diverse and top talent, the envy of all the other employers uh, in the industry or in the same area. And noticing here that the focus for this incredible tank has become about the fish and not the environment, shifting our focus to the talent and not the office. And that is absolutely what most top uh, employers around the world are thinking about and challenged to deliver in this post-pandemic workplace. And as a quick reminder or summary of why experience matters in the workplace, this is about demand for new ways of working from uh, newer and more fickle talent, one might say. Um, the concept of the workplace itself is changing radically. The talent that we want to find is harder to find and to hang on to. Uh, the workforce, even prior to COVID, was increasingly liquid and digital and mobile. Um, they want autonomy, choice, and where and when work gets done. Employers need those employees who want to want to be together, to work together, to solve increasingly more difficult problems at a pace of change which is accelerating and very expensive. And through all of that, the delivery of memorable experiences are a key differentiator. And we are excited to have you see what is in store for you in the new headquarters for CNRA um, as we move forward with the Thrive at Resources program. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, fishy justification for workplace experience. Again, if you'd like more information, please check it out on the Thrive at Resources website.